The bubble that we understand to be this campus has been broken, at least temporarily. We will not have access to familiar places like the CAF, the dorms, 113 McGregor, and the library where we can reliably expect to find our colleagues and community members. In the coming year, we may have to reconfigure and reorient our sense of physical, physical space. But we are finding that the village will indeed be a sanctuary for nonstop. And an important component of our new architecture will be our electronic communication. Reliable and creative online spaces will be critical for nonstop. These spaces will not replace in-person learning, but rather help us to share documents, review assignments, and productively chat for a period when we may not have easy access to Xerox machines, blackboards, paper print credits, or meals together in a calf. The collaborative online networks that have proliferated this last year have seeded our imaginations and include AnnieOkins.org, ACAN, The Record and Blaze Online, and the Yellow Springs News community forum pages. Not to mention Diane Chittis' great coverage of what's been going on. And nonstop is, in fact, a refusal to succumb to that condition. But that reality is not the primary reason I want to show you this clip. You'll see the hostage drama unfolding in the library, but the voices you'll hear in the background are those of Antioch Long and longtime library employee Steve Duffy, along with longtime employee Sandy Coulter, who demonstrate their determination to keep the library open. Duffy and Sandy and their behind-the-scenes support positions insist that Antioch be Antioch, despite the disturbing scenario unfolding around them. The spirited pers perseverance documented in this tape similarly informs the efforts of nonstop.
world's so mess. I've got two people with guns in their head this time. Okay, so um, I want to introduce one last snapshot from the past year that goes to the heart of nonstop. Consider community meetings, and especially this year, the streaming of community meetings. Alums from different generations have spoken to me about critical information shared at a community meeting as we try to figure out how to best move forward together. For example, it was suggested at a community meeting that as we rebuild, College institutions like ASL will be recognized as foundational because of ASL's traditional role in shared governance and its familiarity and recognized importance to generations of Antiochians. Late in the spring term, ASL morphed into EXCEL, and EXCEL, now streamed, continues the tradition of consultation and shared governance. During this very difficult spring away term, it made sense that the collective efforts that inspired many of us throughout this term would be the institutional structure most successful in building and managing the infrastructure of nonstop. As we stand here now, having lost access to most of our familiar buildings and meeting spaces, we rely on committees composed of faculty, students, staff, and alums, and collective communication forms like ASL, COMSL, and community meetings, enhanced by streaming as a kind of lingua franca throughout the Antioch diaspora. So now I hand up Michael Hassan, my colleague in the Executive Collective, uh, to finish up the presentation. 